Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Weather Wednesday. My name is Elias Mullen here at the Space Foundation Discovery Center, looking at today, uh, looking at this Thanksgiving holiday season's weather. With over 31 million people traveling over the next couple days, I think it behooves us to take a look at the weather. We also have a famous, uh, famous parade that's going to be happening happening in think, um, in New York. What's that gonna be like? We're gonna take a look at that here on our Science on a Sphere. So first off, today alone, uh, there's gonna be close to three million people flying around the United States. And here we have, here we have uh, some flight paths. Now this is not a live image. Um, this is uh, a uh, computer uh, model uh, demonstrating on average that there are over 80 thousand airplanes in the sky over the course of a day. That's right, 80,000 airplanes over the course of the day. And here we have the United States, and it's kind of fun to take a look at. As the, as the night turns into day, you can see just the airplanes just take off. It is uh, really, really fascinating to see just those flights just explode in the early morning hours. And then it's interesting to see the flight paths that they take. As you all know, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And so that's why, because our Earth is curved, that's why you will see flights heading north to go across the oceans. So take a look at that as the day progresses. So many flights happening, and there's going to be a lot of flights happening uh, over this course of this Thanksgiving uh, holiday season. So let's take a closer look at the weather here. <clears throat> First off, let's look at what has just happened uh, recently, especially for us here in Colorado. Fast forward this to recently. You see this big system that dropped down right here, and that has produced that produced a lot of moisture uh, for our area. Um, here in uh, Colorado Springs, we had between six to twelve inches of snow, and then the further north you went um, through Denver and even up into Boulder, uh, Boulder, Colorado experienced over twenty-two inches of snow from this one uh, this one day system that uh, ties the record or um, is almost ties the record for the most snowfall in a November day period so that was a, a lot of moisture that came to uh, the Colorado area so what's going to happen to that system let's take a look at forecast here So again, this is our forecast model, and we're going to back this up. Here is the leftover of that system that we were that just hit uh, Colorado here, and that's going to progress across the east coast. And as it gets closer to the east, you see how these lines tighten up? That means there's going to be some wind involved with that system. So as you can see, that system is going to go towards the Great Lakes area, producing some nice snow um, today, and then continue on towards the northeast there. Um, meteorologists are concerned that this will probably produce some, um, some fairly strong winds. Um, not, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be that strong, but it might be enough to ground the balloons in the Macy's Day Parade. So um, if you're looking forward to astronauts, uh, astronaut Snoopy walking down um, Main Street there, then uh, hopefully you'll have to say an extra prayer for him because it looks like that system will be coming through, produce some cloudy weather for sure, but hopefully, um, hopefully not too strong of winds as it goes through New York there. Now, so this is looking at Thanksgiving Day. And across the United States, Thanksgiving Day itself doesn't look too bad. It's when we get into um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that we're going to see some significant weather across the United States. 
currently off the coast of off the coast of California and southern Oregon there there is a very strong system you can see look at how tight that system is right there and as that progresses across the United States it's gonna be interesting to see what happens here over today it's going to uh, drop down and start producing uh, quite a bit of moisture for Southern California as well as the Southwest, Nevada, Arizona area. In fact, this system is going to produce close to 30 inches of snow for Flagstaff, Arizona. That's right, Arizona is gonna get dumped on with some snow over the next three days. So as that system crosses and hits the Rocky Mountains, it's gonna fall apart a little bit. But then what we're expecting from this model is it's going to re uh, regenerate and strengthen after it crosses the Rocky Mountains and move across move across the Midwest towards the East Coast so this is Friday going into Saturday going into Sunday and you see it moving all the way across the northern Midwest section north central section of the United States and wherever you see those strong winds, or sorry, those, those tight lines there, that you can expect some strong winds from that. So this is a pretty strong system that's going to regenerate uh, over the ne um, next few days from Friday into Saturday and then into Sunday. When that happens, we're going to get some strong inflow from the Gulf Coast here. And Friday into Saturday, the southern part of the United States should be watching for some, uh, some possible strong thunderstorms, maybe even some uh, possibilities of tornadoes. So please keep an eye on um, down south here. So just ahead, you can see this color boundary right here. Just ahead of this system is uh, what uh, scientists are gonna keep an eye on uh, for producing some strong rain showers, maybe some thunderstorms uh, in that area. So this is gonna draw a lot of moisture up to that frontal line, and as that progresses across, uh, we'll see some, some rain showers. It's gonna weaken a little bit over um, the central part, mid-central part of the United States, but still it's gonna produce um, some strong systems there. So I wanna go back to, I wanna go back to the um, uh, satellite images and bring up our beautiful GOES images here. And take a look over the last couple days. Again, that strong system right off the coast of Northern California and, or and Southern Oregon there. Look at, look at that beautiful system uh, right there. That underwent what's called bombogenesis. That means the pressure of this system, as I back it up, it went from here to here and it dropped, it dropped, if it drops 24 millibar in 24 hours, that's called undergoing bombogenesis. Now this one dropped 43 millibar in 24 hours. It almost double bombed. And that produced some very strong winds off the, uh, on the coast, the west coast there. And that's the system that's going to bring snow to uh, Arizona and then regenerate over the United States um, as, it, uh, as it travels across. So very significant, very interesting storm going on. So how about, uh, how about Florida? What are, what's, what are you guys going to be experiencing there? So as we go through, here we have uh, southern, ver the very southeast part of um, the United States, and it looks sunny and gorgeous. So it looks pretty good for um, the Florida region, and might experience some thunderstorms just at the, t uh, the northern part of Florida there. And how about Alaska? Let's not leave out, let's not leave out Alaska. Here, La Alaska is also experiencing a low-pressure system. 
that's going to come across. Looks like it's pretty cold over the next day. And then a system coming in right here, a system coming in on December 2nd. So that'll be uh, Saturday into Sunday. Um, looking, further, uh, looking further away, um, we have uh, looking at even Hawaii. Did you guys know that Hawaii gets snow? It does. And in fact, just recently, they experienced some snow at the top of some of their highest mountains there. So we can see Hawaii here looking pretty good, looking pretty good in the forecast. But the most recent snow, or the most recent systems right here, produced a little bit of snow at the top of the mountains in Hawaii. All right, last little, last little couple spots I want to point out is that even though, uh, even though we've been focusing on the weather, the travel weather a lot here in the United States, um, it doesn't mean that around the, uh, that the rest of the world is not experiencing some significant weather too. And just recently, um, Guam, here in the Western Pacific Ocean, experienced a very strong system coming through. This is Tropical Storm Kamuri. And Tropical Storm Kamuri looks pretty organized and could possibly turn into a pretty strong uh, hurricane. Now, a hurricane in the Western Pacific is called a typhoon. And they are expecting this to develop into a strong typhoon status over the next couple days. It may be even turning into a super typhoon, which is not unheard of for this time of year. Uh, a few years ago, there was super typhoon Haiyan, which was the second strongest typhoon ever to hit land. And uh, that happened in November, I think, of 2013. So um, here you have another strong system developing. And so we'll have to keep our eyes on that one as well. Well, what do you guys want to find out? Give us some comments. Shoot us some comments on our Facebook page. We'd love to know what the weather is like uh, for you guys. What are your travel stories? Um, how is your Thanksgiving travel uh, going to be affected for this year, or how has it happened in the past? We want to hear from you guys. So uh, make sure to uh, send us some comments, send us some messages. We look forward to hearing uh, how uh, your Thanksgiving season has been. So let's finish up. Let's finish up with that air traffic again. Many people, many people traveling, and in fact, many people flying uh, this Thanksgiving season. Keep an eye on that weather. Um, as those systems come across the United States, may create some bumpy, uh, some bumpy air for tr air travelers. And it, will, it could possibly uh, cause some delays, uh, some weather delays, or hopefully not for you, the cancellations of flights. But um, stay tuned. Uh, if you guys would like to know of some good websites to go to to find out about travel conditions or, um, or just what current conditions are for flying or for driving, please uh, send us a message and, and follow our Facebook post. And we will um, we'll make sure that we add some good uh, websites, some good resources for you to follow. Well, that's all the time that I have for now. There, that was a lot of information. Hope that you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving, a happy Thanksgiving with your friends and your family. And we look forward to seeing you on our next Weather Wednesday. So take care, guys.